Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to integrate software in Smart Switch. This is a very new integration that now allows you to integrate Smart Switch with software to use it as a database source, as an alternative to using Airtable or Google Sheets while you're using software. Software is a very nice no-code tool that allows you to build amazing digital applications without typing code. And it's very user-friendly, especially for beginners in the no-code space. So let's jump right into my computer screen where I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how to configure software and smart switch together. So I'm here inside the website, the website software.io. I'm gonna log into my account which I already have. If you don't have one, there's a link down below to subscribe and start testing software for free. All right, now it's time to start a new application. I'm gonna click here, new application. All right, so I'm gonna choose blank application, but you can also find a lot of different templates that they have available for you to play with. I'm gonna choose blank application because I prefer this option, but feel free to use any option you would like to use. Now I'm gonna uncheck these other pages because I'm not going to use them. If you want to leave them checked, it's okay too. I'm going to just leave the home page checked because there is no way to uncheck this option. And then I'm going to click create application. This will create a new application from scratch just with the home page for me to customize everything to my desired taste. Now I'm going to delete a couple components here because I'm not going to use them. And then I'm going to add a new component to the page. Now I can choose to click on the middle of the page here on this plus icon, or I can also click here. It will lead me to the same place. Here I have all the components available for me to create projects inside software. I can choose dynamic or static components. In this case, for this specific tutorial, I'm gonna use dynamic components because I want to pull information from an external database. So I have to use dynamic components for that. So I'm gonna choose a list component because this is gonna allow me to show you guys how this works very well. So I'm gonna choose this option here, list with vertical cards and description. So I'm gonna to click to add it to the page. Here it is. Now all I have to do is to connect the source, which is gonna be our smart suite database, okay? So I'm gonna click here. As you can see, I have multiple Airtable accounts linked. Also a couple of smart suites accounts as well. Okay, so if this is the first time you are doing it, of course, you're not gonna have multiple sources already. So you're gonna click the button to create a new one to connect to your first data source. I'm gonna do the same here so you can follow along. Uh, so I'm gonna click here to add another data source and it's gonna open this little window and it's gonna ask us which uh, tool we wanna connect to. So we have Airtable as an option, Google Sheets as an option, and the option that we wanna use for this video is Smart Switch, okay? So I'm gonna click here and then click continue, and it will open the Smart Switch website and it's gonna ask you to log in. So if you don't have an account yet, I recommend you create your account. That is also a link down below for you to create a free account and get started, okay? So I'm gonna log in with my existing account and then once I log in, it will automatically bring me back to software. And that's all you have to do for now. Very simple, very easy. As we can see, I have a new defined source here, which is Smart Suite, my name. Now, the second step is to select the workspace, which is my name in this case here. I'm gonna select this uh, and then it will show all the projects that I have inside this account, okay? so. Okay, now I'm gonna go inside my Smart Suite account and show you around. So here I am inside my Smart Suite account. As we can see, I have a lot of different projects here that were created uh, for me to test the tool. Okay, for this specific tutorial, I'm gonna create a new base, which is gonna be our database. I'm gonna click here, add new and create one from scratch. Then it will ask what name we wanna give to this database. I'm gonna call this software example base. And inside a database, we can have multiple tables. I have the table one here. I could create more tables as well. I'm gonna just rename this to example base. And we have a couple of fields here. We are not gonna use all of them. We also have some fields that are hidden here. We can make them visible uh, or hide them. So this is how the database will come by default, okay? Then you have to customize the fields to fit your specific needs, okay? 
Now let's go back to software for a second. We have the solution field here. We have to select which base we want to use. Since we created a new base, I recommend you refresh this connection so it can pull the latest information from Smart Suite. Um, now I can potentially see the new base. Here it is, software example base. And now I have to just select the table that I want to target for this integration. Since I just have one example base, that's the one I'm going to pick. Okay. Uh, so the integration is done. As we can see, there is no information coming from the database yet, because of course our database is empty as well. Okay. So we have to do just one extra thing for this to work. We have to click content here and we have to bind the fields. We have to say, hey, software, for this field here that you have on the front end, please use this data from the database. So we have to sync the fields with the data type that we want to use. Okay. So for the image field, we don't have any image field on the database yet. We have description, due date, first created, last updated, priority status, and so on. So for this particular field, what we are going to have to do is to go back to our database and create a new field called image. Okay. So, Hey, are you enjoying the video so far? If so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave the thumbs up on the video. Thank you. Let's go back. Okay. So I'm going to scroll to the end of our database, click here to add a new field and choose the field type files and images. Okay. The field type is very important. Uh, so pick this correctly based on the type of information you want to store on the database. So I'm going to call this image, add this field for the other ones that we're not going to use. I could just delete them if I want to. Okay. No problem, but I'm going to just keep them to make the video shorter. Uh, so since I created a new field, it's good to go back to the source tab here and update, refresh this connection and then go back to the content tab and then try to find the new field you just created. So here I'm going to find image. Okay. There we go. And then it's connected. Now it's showing this uh, green indicator here. Okay. Of course, it's not yet showing any results, anything, because of course our database is, is still empty. Okay. Let's continue uh, binding the extra items we have here for the heading. This could be our title. So I'm going to choose the title here, which we already had uh, on the default structure when we created the database. Now for the text, I can choose the description field and for the other text field, I I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to just click hide and it will disappear. Okay. So now we have our fields pulling the correct information, the correct fields from the database. Now what we have to do is to populate our database. So let's add some fake data here. So I'm going to say title is my name, Caio Calderari. And then I'm going to skip these ones because I'm not going to show any of these, uh, these fields on the project. So here I'm going to add a quick description could be example description test. And for the image, I'm going to upload a picture here that I have on my computer. Okay. That's it. Now let's go back to software and then update the database integration. Okay. Let's refresh the entire page now and see if the information is coming from the database. As we can see, it's already showing my profile picture, the title and the description. This means the integration is done. Now, of course, you have to populate this database, customize the fields, remove the unnecessary fields if you're not going to use them. And all the information you put inside Smart Suite will be populated inside your software project. And with that integration, you can build amazing types of applications using no code and using software and Smart Suite together. How cool is that? Just in a couple of steps, you are able to build amazing types of applications using no code. This is very powerful. And if you want to continue learning more about 
software and other no-code tools as well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave the thumbs up if you liked the video and also leave a comment down below if you want to say something or ask for future tutorials. I really hope you liked this video, my friend, and I see you on the next ones. Bye-bye.